All right, so the first thing we need to do here is remove these plastic covers. Next, we're going to remove the following bolts. The solenoid bolts are a five millimeter head and they're a little bit longer than any of the other five millimeter heads that you're going to run into. When you take the solenoids out, you want to lay them out in the exact order in which they came out. They're not interchangeable and you want to put them back in the same exact holes that they came out of. Next, we're going to remove the bolts from both the manual lever switch and the transmission control module. Now the control module should lift right off. All right, we're gonna take note of two slots in the manual valve, the smaller of which the manual lever position switch needs to engage into, like so. We could probably zoom in on this for you in a minute. Next, you're gonna start putting your bolts back in into the places where they came from. Put the solenoids back in. We're going to tighten it all down and then we're going to torque it. So the reason that you may want to change the electronics on this is oftentimes these TCMs go bad. We'll show you the Nissan service bulletin later. It's going to set a PO720 code, which is an output speed sensor, but that's actually a false code. It's not the output speed sensor. It's typically the, tor the uh, transmission control module that's causing it. Another reason would be if you're doing a swap, you want to keep this TCM with the vehicle. So you could swap this TCM onto your new transmission or onto your new valve body, however you want to look at it. So again, the torque spec that I recommend is 80 inch pounds. And you might want to go over them a couple times just to make sure you got them all. Torque in these may or may not be necessary, but I like to torque. Plus, I don't want to hear everybody's BS in the comments.
one thing I neglected to do was put the main case connector back onto its bracket. So make sure you do that. Now the covers go back on, and that's about it for this. All right, let's spend a minute on this PO720 code. It's for an output speed sensor. You know, this is basically telling your vehicle um, how fast you're going. It's a road speed signal to your transmission computer. And for whatever reason, this code sets and it has nothing to do with the output shaft speed sensor. It has to do with a problem in the TCM. So Nissan's even put a bulletin out regarding this because it's so common. And I have to say, from my own experience, I haven't actually seen a bad output speed sensor. But I've definitely changed the TCMs and fixed this code plenty of times. Another thing to be aware of with this is if you want to get a used TCM where sometimes they're sold as a valve body um, with the TCM, you have to get one from the exact vehicle that, that you're dealing with or it may not function correctly. And you can't go by part numbers on these things. Um, you know, it, it's based on the software that's written into that TCM. Additionally, um, getting a new one from the dealer, you're always going to have to buy a valve body with it, at least at this point. You know, they come as a, as a, um, a one-piece set. But we've been having a lot of trouble getting valve bodies from the dealers. Um, they're blaming the chip shortage. Um, you know, we're getting all kinds of stories. But the, at the end of the day, they're just becoming unavailable. Whether or not that's going to change in the near future, I don't know. But let's hope it does.